I'm Shauna Cardoza, a licensed pest professional with Corky's Pest Control. So let's talk about how to identify spiders. It might seem a difficult task at first to identify spiders, but once you learn a few specific characteristics, it will be easy to tell them apart. We will start with the Western Black Widow. A female adult is normally shiny black with a red hourglass marking on the underside of her abdomen. Her body, not including the legs, is about a half an inch long. The males are light brown to dark brown in color and have red or orange dots on the back sides of their abdomen. The males are considerably smaller than the female in size, being a third of an inch. They are the most venomous spider in North America, and although no human fatalities are known of in the last decade or so, anyone bitten by a western black widow spider should receive prompt and proper medical treatment. The brown widow spider is generally lighter in color than the black widow, ranging from tan to dark brown. Occasionally, you might find a gray or black colored one. They have a yellow to orange hourglass marking on the undersides of their abdomen. And unlike the black widow, they have a black and white geometric pattern on the dorsal side of the abdomen or the backside. They are the same size as their relative, the black widow spider, with the females being much larger than the males. The brown widow is not as deadly as the black widow and the symptoms associated with the bite are much milder. Red-backed jumping spiders are about a centimeter in length. Both male and females have a bright red abdomen while the females will have a distinctive black strip down the middle of their abdomen. Red-backed jumping spiders feed on flies, moths, and caterpillars. They will also eat other spiders. However, this is rare. This behavior is mainly seen when the female redback eats her male counterpart. The red-backed jumping spider prefers to stay in tubular silky nests, which they make beneath debris, wood, or anywhere that will be undisturbed, close to or on the ground. They are a sight hunter and need light to assist them in locating their prey. At night, they stay in their nests. Their bite can be quite painful, but it's not fatal. The most common orb weaver spider in Southern California is the cross spider. It's also known as the garden spider. This spider ranges in color from light yellow to orange brown and sometimes is a dark gray. They will have a five or more large white dots across the back of their abdomen, which will form a cross of some size. Usually these markings are quite visible and easy to distinguish. The adult females of this species are larger than the males. The orb weaver spiders are the builders of the spiral wheel-shaped webs often found in gardens, fields, and forests. They are a beneficial spider due to their fondness of eating flying insects such as mosquitoes and flies. The orb weaver's bite is slightly unpleasant, but harmless to humans. It is said that the orb weavers eat their webs every night, consuming any insects that are stuck to it, and a new web is spun in the morning. The brown recluse spider is misidentified by medical personnel more than any other spider when treating a patient for a bite. There are other species of spiders that look similar but are not the recluse. The brown recluse bodies are usually between a quarter to three quarters of an inch, not including their legs. Most of the time they are light to medium brown, but they do range in color from whitish to dark brown or blackish gray. On the back of their abdomen, starting from the top of their head to the middle of their abdomen, is a dark brown violin pattern, which is why one of their nicknames is the violin spider. Their bite is very venomous, yet may not be initially felt or immediately painful. Anyone bitten by this spider should seek medical attention immediately. The one good thing is that this spider, contrary to rumors, has not established itself in California. I hope you found this spider identification video helpful.